I told you guys that this is going to be the spot. I love this spot. It is currently about 8.30 right now. And this is going to be a video that I kind of dreaded to talk about. It came to my realization, you guys obviously don't know who the heck I am. I am the greatest, the most famous, most admirable, most respected photographer and videographer in the world. I'd hope to have that someday. I'm just a regular person trying to go after their dreams as a photographer, videographer, more importantly as an artist and as a genuine person. My name is James Adams, to start off with that. I am a photographer and videographer full-time as a freelancer. I originated in Philadelphia. Kind of how I got into this whole thing is my dad always put me into sports. Sports was like the thing I had to do. I tried every sport from karate to basketball to football. Uh, it's just been a whole compilation of my father's dreams trying to be instilled in me. I was really good at the sports. However, I wasn't the best and I just typically didn't love it. However, I always loved art. I always loved all kinds of art. Like it started from cartoon, then it went to anime. Then, you know, I was watching Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, all these other animes that basically helped my childhood. And I started drawing. Yeah, like I've been, I've, I've drawn all my life. Uh, I wasn't the best at it, but it was the one that I actually loved. And that's what's like super important when it comes to living life you should love something so that way you can go beyond these mountains and you can move to unknown areas similar to what I did and you can face being fearful being in the unknown because you love what you do and you're willing to go through it going through all that I uh, was using my mom's iPhone and I would go in the backyard and I would take pictures with it like I said use what you have if all you have is an iPhone, especially if it's not even yours, just use it. You gotta create. So, I <laughs> I went in the backyard and I would just take pictures of nature and everything like that. And then I would, you know, uh, get these apps without telling my mom, "Mom, I'm so sorry." And I would edit them, and they wouldn't see the light of day because it's not my iPhone. But you know, it was really fun. I love doing that. Fast forward, I got my first iPhone when I was like in high school, and that introduced me to social media. I was able to now create the art that I loved on the platform that I had that was mine, and I was able to generate an audience from that. It started with this guy. Not this iPhone, but you get the point. But like, I started creating art just because I love to do it and I was willing to use whatever I had and I edit the photos and I put them on Instagram and you know I was just doing it just for the sake of doing it, it wasn't for likes it wasn't for followers and wasn't for any other financial gain I just love doing it next thing you know I built an audience and I was like holy crap like you guys actually like what I do. This is something that I feel like I can push forward in. So after building up an audience through my iPhone work and after the first hundred photos of my Instagram being just for my iPhone, I wanted to invest in a camera. Now, the camera I was looking for obviously was out of my range as a sophomore or junior in high school. And you know, my mom, she loved me, but she was definitely not going to pay for this camera which is totally understandable. <laughs> she loves me, but she wasn't gonna do that. She wasn't about to drop a whole stack on this camera as much as she loves me. But it really taught me a valuable lesson. It meant that if I love something, I'm willing to you know, eat dirt and really get through the thick of it to get to the other side. So I worked at Arby's, <laughs> two years actually. I worked at Arby's, saved up all the money I could possibly get, and as soon as I got the amount and some change after that, I quit, like I left. Working at Arby's, good lesson, it was just not a good experience. After getting enough money, I bought the camera, and I quit immediately after that, and that's when I went to college, to Temple University. This was huge because I was going to college, you know? That's, that's pretty loud. There's an, there's an air field over here. I'm 
just gonna wait till that passes. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are, you know, living life and enjoying yourself. Keep pushing, you're gonna do all right. Going to college was a really huge moment for me and my family, and not just because of that, but it's because, you know, as a black man in America, education is very key towards just building a generation for yourself. Went to college, and that's when I had to learn everything I knew about this camera, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, granted, the classes there, eh, eh, you know, it's all good, but the most important part is just learning on your own terms. YouTube University is what I learned from on a daily basis. Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, even Sam Colder. Typically, like, I mean, even like all the other smaller individuals do well too, just compiling them up into like a textbook of YouTube knowledge and I would just apply them. Started off with me doing my own gigs and you know doing free content here and there and then once I got my name out I started you know really being able to get bigger and bigger gigs with my equipment and investing in myself. But most importantly throughout all of that I created my own style of content and I will show a picture of that here or here or somewhere around here. And that's what started making me into an artist. Anybody could get into this field if they have a camera or if they have an iPhone. These iPhones can take almost as good as a picture as these cameras right now. But what really cuts you from the rest is your originality. What are you able to do that is different from everyone else? And that's what I really wanted to harp on. So it was really cool, you know, like being able to be known for my style of work amongst the sea of artists. That's a great feeling. And I've worked very hard for it. I've hustled for the past four to five years. I turned down a full time opportunity to go officially into freelancing as a photographer, a videographer, and as an artist, a visual creator. And I took that risk and I was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I hustled. I didn't have a car. I walked everywhere. I tried to Uber. I took the bus. I, I did everything I possibly could to survive. I was a starving artist, but I loved it. And that's what got me through everything. And because I was able to keep going, keep grinding and keep hustling, despite the pain, despite the tears, despite the depression, anxiety, financial struggles, I pushed through and, oh, you know, I'm here now. I told myself at the beginning of college, four or five years ago, that I'm gonna get here, I'm going to get to California. And it's not just because it's California, it's because if I could do that, that means that I'm capable of anything. And you know what, damn it, I know that I am. Because I'm here on my own terms. And it's scary as sh I don't know anyone here. I'm trying my best to see if I can make connections work, to link up with people, to get out there, but I don't know what the heck's gonna be on the other side of the door. I just know I have to be there, because when that door opens up, I'm gonna be the first person to step through, and I know that I can execute. Even with all the execution, it is scary, because it's a new environment but I'm just gonna try my best to keep pushing through. And that's why these are so important. This is who I am. I want to preach this to you guys and let you know that I'm practicing what I'm preaching. Man, I got really intense. <laughs> so with that being said, that's who I am. My name is James Adams. I'm the person on a journey, venturing into the unknown, trying to live through what he loves. And I'm gonna go through all the struggles, through all the tears, dirt, through all the wins and all the losses to get there. And you guys are gonna be there for me. With that being said, welcome to my channel. Stay tuned, we just getting started. Right now, waiting for Sammy. I'm here. So, uh, I'm not sure what we're about to get into, but she's been a really good friend of mine. She's also another person that goes out and hustles, so it's gonna be really nice seeing her here. It's the first time we're seeing each other here. It's the first time we're seeing each other in like a long time, so that should be pretty interesting. Oh my God, it's Sammy. Oh, oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, snap. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Hello. We dark as heck oh, right shit. now. Hold up. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Hey, ah. look at us. We looking, we looking We're good. Going. We looking good. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hello. So, yes, this is Sammy. Sammy is an awesome person. I kind of gave like a really cool introduction oh, really? previously. So, oh. don't mess this up. 
<laughs> I didn't I didn't notify you about wow. this at all. So okay. like uh action. Alrighty. I was James's roommate back in Philly. I am here in LA for school, unfortunately. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in producing. Oh yeah. For T V series and music videos. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm here to do. I'll make sure to link some of her projects and uh, the YouTube as well too. So if you got in the YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so new to this. I'll link okay. her work in the description. So definitely check her out. Uh, that'd be like fifty bucks. Now. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. Be back here again. But I'm with a good friend of mine. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yes, Sammy is here. We're in LA. Guys, come out here if you can afford it. <laughs> Another episode of me putting Sammy on the spot. And uh, yeah, so Sammy, yeah. you are coming out here to go after your dreams and everything. All that good old cliche. What can you give as an advice for, I guess you say, a college student who is trying to go out and get it? I think the number one thing is just to be really humble and genuine with the people you meet. Like, obviously, you have to meet people and network, but don't do it with an agenda all the time. Actually, yeah. get make the time to get to know someone, make that effort to build that relationship. See, then this is why she's going to kill it out here. She is able to execute on the spot. You already know how we do. You already know how we do. We are back. We are back. Hello. Right. Dude, look how significantly shorter. I know. I'm so sorry. I was expecting, you know, being over in LA, there would be more people doing this. Like, I'd be like, okay, I won't look weird because I won't be the only person doing it. There's no one. I'm literally the only person with a camera facing towards me. Maybe just not in the right area. No, Jesus Christ. So if you guys are out there, please, please, for the love of God, hit me up so I don't feel like an idiot right now. <sighs> Moral of the story, don't do things that could ruin your life. Just don't. Hey, mamas. Hey, James. Why is it so bad? Yeah. You want to pick up? Yeah. Hello. It's, um, let's say, 314. Yeah. What? Cool. This is... Oh, I forgot it's time back. <laughs> Come on, now it's sunny where I am, man. That's the year, yeah, that's why. Nice. That's, that's why I can't find her. Okay. You don't know what to say. No, that's why. See, I'm going to say it. Watch. Ready? That's yeah. why. You suck, dude. What's up, guys? Um, yeah, appreciate you guys for sticking in to this far so you guys can see what I have to say as a conclusion, as a wrap up to the vlog. Um, yeah, I am grateful again for you guys and the supporters and the subscribers and supporting me as of now. This journey is very unique yet very similar for me and I am happy and honored to have you guys be along for the ride, stepping into unknown territory to go after their dreams. And I just want to be able to document it with you guys. And, you know, hopefully the lessons that I learned and the lessons that I'm currently going through are able to guide you guys through, I don't know, the nuances of life. You know, it doesn't have to be deep at all. I just want to have fun with this. I want to be able to laugh. I want to be able to you know, have life be joyful and memorable. And I don't want to take life too seriously because at the end of the day, when my time has come and I'm at the table and everybody's laughing, I don't want to be the only person not laughing because I took life too seriously. That's something I don't want to have happen. So again, I appreciate you guys for the support. I appreciate you guys for being able to understand me and to stick by me and I want to be able to help you guys as well too so leave a like a comment share and most definitely subscribe stay tuned we just getting started